Hi, it's Phoenix Genesis. So uh, I'm going to do the John Muir Trail Sobo from Happy Isles Yosemite to uh, Mount Whitney, uh, knock on wood, if they can get out the uh, complex fire down by Kennedy Meadows, we'll, we'll see, hopefully that'll be uh, contained enough and it won't spread northward toward Whitney, but let's just dive in. So I decided to actually downgrade from my 450 bear vault to my 425. I also have a BV500, which we use for Steve and the dogs. So this isn't even fully packed. I had oatmeal and I had some jelly beans in here and I had um, some coffee in here, but I'm still off coffee. So Steve said like to take it out. So that came out um, and I had toilet paper and toothpaste. So um, this is under 10 pounds. If you really pack it, pack it tight, you can, with the bear can included, you can get 10 pounds in here. And then if you're carrying an ultralight 10 pound base weight, you're 20 pounds for the JMT. And I think that's adequate. You don't have less than that. Um, I'm just actually not going to take this hot cocoa because with these uh, portion packets, it just kind of doesn't seal good and it's been leaking and I don't want chocolate mess all over anything. So what I do is I get these little portion packs, which measure out to a cup and I fill them up to the brim. So if you get um, instant mashed potatoes or you get uh, jelly beans or you get uh, oatmeal everything kind of fits in that one cup size no matter how your packaging is when you open it up and you put it in there it ends up being a cup so that works out conveniently so and these are reusable so as you're resupplying to save your plastic bags and you can also use them in a pinch as extra water containers so anyway um, and what I did was uh, there's a lighter pack uh, app for iPhone and I download that. I like that better than the lighterpack.com online because um, on the fly I can just add and delete um, food on my resupply and see exactly how much it weighs. So that's like really great to decide what I'm going to do. So I took my um, LMT, uh, well actually I have two of these. So um, this is just the liquid IV and this is watermelon. Um, I think it comes in, I forgot, 16 pack um, box and I took all that out and it fit in here. So um, that's that. And then I took some old lime Gatorade, some lime and orange LMTs and some liquid IV lime lemon and just kind of mixed all that up. Uh, then yeah, it ruins everything. The hot cocoa ruined everything. Then these are these Skippy squeeze peanut butters. You get a lot of peanut butter out of this and this is six ounces. Another thing about these weights is weighing this on my scale. What I'm realizing is the weight is for the actual food and not the packaging. So remember, take your packaging into consideration for your extra weight of what you're going to be carrying. Then um, this is goat milk. Love my goat milk. Gotta have my goat milk. That, that has your electrolytes, it has your fat, your protein, your carbs, it has everything you need. So, uh, and, and at altitude, it's really hard to digest food. So I try to, um, you know, take things that are easily digestible. This is a um, four cheese, one of those Idahoian potatoes. And see, it looks like a big pack, but it goes nice into this little um, serving. So yeah, they always make the packaging bigger to entice you, but <laughs> when you take things out of packaging, and then there's some smoked cheese and bacon, try to have different flavors so you're not limited. And see, that's where my jelly beans are gonna go in there. I ate them all to see if I could actually tolerate the sugar because I don't eat much sugar anymore. And um, yeah, if I eat, I ate like half a bag and I was in a food coma for four hours yesterday, <laughs> I just crashed. So those are just like a little bit maybe as a reward. Um, some loaded potato, those have a lot of calories. Then these the fruit snacks, and my friend gave me some uh, gummy bears to put on top. I think there's five, but these are like three packs of those Welch's fruit snacks will fit in one, a one cup serving. And these things are like gold for me on the trail. They're like the Cliff Bar block shots, but way too cheaper and then in here we've got more goat milk so goat milk's expensive by the way but it's so worth it and then some parmesan cheese just because you know i don't know it goes good on anything <laughs> and then um and what's this this was the oatmeal package so i had the oatmeal but i ended up eating it for breakfast for two days so it's gone then in here um very important um got uh, hydration salts, which is a Celtic salt, some vitamin C drops, and just some vitamin Cs, which I normally don't take vitamin C at home. I eat enough citrus, but and tomatoes, but for the trip, I'm taking vitamin C. Then 
Um, and it, ow, sorry, ah, ants biting me. Everything wants to bite me all the time. Um, then I have these yellowfin tunas uh, with olive oil. That's 180 calories. These things are delicious. I craved a lot of tuna this year on the on the parts of the PCT I've done. Um, so I have four packs of those and then two coconut hydrating coconut waters so i've never had these they could be actually very nasty but yeah and see what the hot cocoa did it's just not coming it just made a mess out of my beer can and then for the hydration salt because that's the most important thing your salt and your water you can make it to a resupply and go without food for a few days if you have to at least do with me with body fat but you need the the mineralization of the bones which the sea salt provides so um i have and you don't want to constantly open the bear can and like scoop out a bag so i will keep one of these plastic containers here i will keep a plastic container here my boyfriend was just saying bye to me so a plastic container here that i can keep on me so i can make sure i constantly am rehydrating with this and then i then i have the other one to refill it up and this should be good with a, also because i have these other hydrating electrolytes so that's it and a very messy bear can now so um i hope that helps you and like i said you can fit a lot in here i can still fit toilet paper toothpaste a uh, little mini uh, lip balm you know you just got to pack everything really carefully and um, that takes a little bit of time but also you you plan out what you're going to eat and you pack it accordingly with things you're going to eat later at the bottom and this will be good for me for the JMT I, I just know my limit of what I can carry and I mean 12 pounds is like it for me you know maybe 15 pounds with water and that's like my absolute limit going up and down these passes with my uh, level. And I have what I've been, my training I've been doing is taking the uh, BV500 and put it, loading that up on <laughs> real heavy and putting that in my backpack with a grapefruit and a couple books and a pound of water and taking the dogs out and going uh, like about two hours with that. So I have been training with that one. <laughs> Which, by the way, the BV500 does fit in my 22 liter fast pack, so that's pretty cool. Nothing else does, but that fits in there. Anyway, I'll see you guys uh, on the trail. I probably won't do videos till I get back because there's no cell phone reception to upload. But uh, I'll be gone probably, uh, th I have 34 days for the permit, so that way I can only do five miles a day and take my sweet time. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.